How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here and thanks for stopping by. Now this video is kind of dedicated to Campfire Steve and Hike with Mike. Last year I was in a meadow watching this praying mantis stalking up on a bush cricket. What I didn't know was there was another praying mantis stalking that mantis. I don't have the initial strike on film, but I do have the war. And let me tell you, it went on for about 40 minutes. It's really dramatic. So check it out. So here's the praying mantis hunting. She almost had a fly, but it took off. And now I think she's approaching a bush cricket, but the bush cricket's way too active right now. Oh my God, so here's this mantid, uh, stalk and prey, and then snatch. From right up behind it comes another praying mantis that just grabs onto it while she was distracted. And uh, man, it's, it's rough. I'm pretty sure the brown one is the, the tougher one. Uh, I think she's gonna kill the green one. I think the green one's gonna lose. What a horrific world entomology can be sometimes. Okay, so there's those forelegs. That's their primary form of defense, and they're both trying to take out each other's forelegs. Um, and if they lose them, well, they're not going to be able to defend themselves except for biting. Look, they're both struggling to gain the upper hand. No pun intended, but that's what they're doing. They're both down one leg um, because they're holding on to each other, and then the other legs are just going at it. What a disturbing existence. But there you have it. Never a dull moment. And in the background I see a little yellow goldenrod spider going up towards her flower post. Pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised if some kind of ambush bug was waiting there to snatch her up. I've seen that before. Just like I said, the brown one's trying to neutralize the forelegs of the, the green one. The, the green one's one leg is fairly neutralized at this point. I mean, it's almost completely out of commission. There it is. I mean, it's, it's digging into the exoskeleton. It's actually eating the muscle fibers. Oh, the green one's at a disadvantage. That's not good. Oh wait, okay, she's getting back up. This is a long fight. Can you imagine being in a fight for for this long? A fight for your life? Yeah, that 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 leg's totally destroyed. It's overextended, the muscles destroyed. Wow. Yeah, look at the brown one just eating away. That poor green one. Ah, oh, why won't it focus? She's still fighting. She's not gonna give up. I mean, it makes sense, but she's not a quitter. She's gonna die fighting. I mean, she's going to go out gloriously at that. You know? Reminds me of the Spartans. Ah, uh, the green one's eyes totally messed up, too. She's trying to get some bites on the brown one, but it's just not... She's not getting any purchase. Oh, yep. She's looking right at me. <laughs> I see you. Well, there's our defeated mantis. Brown one totally took her out. She's going to feed on her, and that'll provide nutrition for her eggs uh, to manufacture them. And I'm pretty sure the green one would have done the same thing. She's moved on. The green one has passed on to the mantis version of spirit world. <laughs> the world of digestion and nutrition for the brown mantis. And there you go. That's just a glimpse into the world of entomology. Especially with praying mantises, you know, it's it's an all-or-nothing life lifestyle. <sighs> wow, it was pretty intense. Let me tell you. 
So, uh, feel bad for the mantis. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.